Everybody wants to buy a home theater system, but making a good AV receiver, a matching speaker and a matching subwoofer, not everyone knows it. But there are some brands which make a proper combination of these three and sell their good home theaters in the market. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk 2021. My name is Samajit. I am extremely happy to receive so much support from all of you which gives me a lot of encouragement to make a new video for you. Like always, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you have not done that yet. Also comment. Today, we would see top 5 home theater package if you have a budget of less than 10,000 rupees. I have made another video in the similar line and showed you my preferences of home theaters under 30,000 and 50,000. You may click on the i button to watch that video. The biggest confusion is which is the best one. Today I will tell you the home theater system under 10,000 rupees in India in 2021 which would help you to elevate the TV sound. I have mentioned Amazon purchase link in the description below. I have chosen this product based on their price, features, sound quality, reliability and given you my rating on each product for your easy understanding. First one in my list is Philips audio 8000b this is a 120 watts 5.1 multimedia speaker which comes with five 15 watt satellite speakers and one subwoofer with 8 inch bass driver you can connect the speaker with tv laptop desktop gaming console but one at a time as it has one rca in at the back of the subwoofer i am highly impressed to hear the bass of the speaker and you can adjust the volume label for each speaker and bass using your remote. This system comes with Bluetooth, FM tuner, also it has one USB port for MP3 playback and one SD card slot too. The quality of the speakers are good build wise as well as sound quality wise. One observation is the sound is very less in Bluetooth mode as compared to USB, AUX or FM mode and that is quite acceptable as Bluetooth sound varies from phone to phone or other devices connected. Overall it is a good choice as it gives you all the features required in a small price plus it is good looking too. So here my score for Philips Audio SPA 8000B. Next up Infinity Hard Drive 410. This 4.1 speaker system is capable enough to create an amazing sound quality and great bass. You connect the speaker to your TV, laptop, smartphone, tablet or any Bluetooth device, USB device or aux input and let your tunes run while in the house. The wooden cabinet subwoofer is, is purpose made to deliver beats that you will make your heartbeat resonate with them. With 3 inbuilt mode for movies, gaming and music, you can be tweeted to custom made music that suits your needs. The Hard Rock 410 can be operated with an IR remote from anywhere in the house. The total peak power is 200 RMS. Infinity comes with a lower version which is Hard Rock 210 which has two speakers and one woofer at 5000 rupees. You may want to look at it once. This also comes with Bluetooth connectivity, has one aux port and one USB port. If I talk about the build quality of the speaker, all the satellite speakers come with mid-range speakers and one tweeter. Therefore, in terms of voice quality and clarity, you have no question about. Also, the bass is very powerful. Overall, this is also a best buy option under 10,000. This is my opinion of this particular speaker system. Next up is FND 5060X. This beautiful looking 135 watt 5.1 speaker comes with four satellite speakers, one center channel, and one subwoofer. Every satellite speaker comes with three inch full range driver and one tweeter. Center channel has two speakers with one inch tweeter and 8-inch down-firing active bass module provides a deep and punchy bass. At the front of the over, it has multi multicolor LED panel which changes the color periodically. A Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity gives you whooping 15 meters range. The multifunction remote lets you shuffle around FM, Bluetooth or AUX to listen to music seamlessly. You can enjoy listening to MP3 or WMA music through USB. 
once again a product with a good sound quality and loud sound offers under 10,000 rupees. Please find my rating of this product. Next up is Bode Avantev Bar 2050. This is basically a sound bar, comes with 160 watts, two speakers and one subwoofer. For the first time, I'm recommending Boat product. Recently, Boat has come up with multiple good, good value for money home audio products. They have plenty of soundbars to choose from in their Avante home audio series. Let's deep dive into Avante Bar 2050 and know more about it. The soundbar itself made of plastic with a metal, metal grill and equipped with four 2.25 inch drivers that perform the mid-range and treble duty while the wireless subwoofer is equipped with a rather decent 6.5 inch driver overall the construction and build is good while the soundbar is made from plastic the subwoofer is made from mdf with a glossy plastic front baffle the wireless subwoofer is side firing with the rear base reflex port to extend and increase the lfe output the soundbar has a capability to be wall mounted. The input options are plenty with optical, digital, ARC, aux, USB and Bluetooth connectivity with 10 meters of range. The overall experience while listening to the music and watching movies gave me equal amount of satisfaction. Only thing which needs correction is overpowering treble. Also, it comes with multiple preloaded audio equalizers such as news, movies, music and 3D. And here is my rating of this product. The final product in my recommendation is TCL TS3015. This is also a soundbar. Comes with 2 inch 4 full range speakers and 1 wireless subwoofer. The soundbar has a glossy finish and a front grill and the wireless subwoofer has backfiring 5.25 inch driver. As per TCL, the peak power of this product is 180 RMS, however actually it is at 90 watts RMS. Please keep a note of it. Still I am recommending this soundbar due to its sound quality, bass and wireless subwoofer. Benefit you get using a wireless subwoofer is you can keep the soundbar where it sounds the best and you do not need to worry about the cable management. However, due to small bass driver from the competitors, do not expect a powerful thumping bass. Still, with four speakers, it sounds pretty good. This comes with Bluetooth 5.0. The basic control are there at the side of the soundbar, which is like source selection, one USB port, power on off, volume up and down, and pairing button to connect soundbar with the subwoofer. And at the back of the soundbar, it has one optical port, one HDMI ARC port, one RCA port, and one aux in port. While doing sound test, I have observed a noticeable difference in Bluetooth sound versus HDMI sound. It was producing more clear and loud sound, which it is connected with the TV. It is important for me to inform you that in the box, it does not come with, it does not contain optical cable or HDMI cable therefore you need to buy one separately I have mentioned in the description the best cable for your soundbar and here is my score for this product that's about it for today's video please comment below which one you like the most and also comment if you have already purchased that one share us your story so that everyone would be benefited too please like share subscribe to my channel to make my family bigger and better keep watching my other videos i will come back soon with new videos soon once again till then take care